molds are commonly found in buildings and homes and will grow anywhere indoors where there is moisture. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the most common indoor molds are Cladosporium, Penicillium, Aspergillus, and Alternaria. Alternaria is a well-known genus of fungi with numerous known species. It is found as a natural part of the environment almost everywhere. It plays an important role in decomposing materials in the outdoor environment. Various Alternaria species are known to be significant plant pathogens and cause a great deal of agricultural spoilage. Alternaria is also a known allergen and may trigger asthma attacks in susceptible individuals. People with weakened immune systems, such as those suffering from AIDS, are also susceptible to opportunistic infections caused by Alternaria. These infections often manifest themselves as cutaneous and subcutaneous infections. Other infections may appear on the eyes, sinuses, or the nails. Properties that have suffered water damage or elevated humidity levels that have resulted in mold contamination may find Alternaria as one of the types of mold growing in the property. It is known to grow on cellulose surfaces found on some building materials. The production of various mycotoxins has also been linked to Alternaria. Mycotoxins are secondary metabolites produced by some types of fungi. The effects on humans to mycotoxins through inhalation exposure are not well known at this time. Properties where building occupants have concerns over elevated levels of mold can test for Alternaria and other types of fungi. Typical sampling techniques may involve taking air, bulk, surface, and dust samples. To learn more about Alternaria and other microbial contaminants and opportunistic pathogens, or other health and safety, environmental, or indoor air quality issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.